Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. Just as we finished last time, a message showed up that we had a marriage in town. So these two folks here married. His parents are there. I'm trying to make sense of this. So family tree. She came from where? I take it this is a sister. And these are sister you know, uh, siblings of, of of this guy, but her parents aren't showing. So where did she come from? Hmm, interesting. That I don't know. She was already here apparently, and he left home to marry her. That must be what happened there. Anyway, let's get this thing going and kick the speed up a bit. We got a lot of building to get done. Um, it was brought up in the comments that it would be very beneficial to play with the counselor idea, that it will help coordinate labor around the town. I've never dealt with that before, but it's definitely something I want to work on and, and learn how to do. And another comment came in with a suggestion that we start building housing down here to, oh, basically to, to help with the idea of taking a break and going all the way back to the houses over here. We're, we're moving our industry, so we need to move our housing with it. And that's actually a really good idea, except right over there, no market stalls nearby. And I was looking around to see how that how that continues and we get out over to here and no market stalls nearby so hay barracks is done so we're limited to basically a triangle in here or probably more like a big arc that we're available to put housing in and still feed off of these market stalls or we create a brand new market and if i'm going to create a brand new market it needs to be for you know a, a neighborhood make it worth the effort of hiring five more people to get the same selection for those people as these people. That's a lot of labor involved in providing a market. Labor that, you know, we're at 50, was that 53 population now? So that's that's 10% of the population running that market. So if we were to do housing down here, you would need to be in a place that made it worthwhile. And I'm kind of kicking around, maybe something like this. Maybe housing through here, another across the street, with a opening right here to go into a market area. Maybe the backside of those blocks of those houses to get you know three rows of, of housing. And then industrial, another little bridge, more industrial. This is probably our pathway to the iron. So it's probably going to be our smelter over here and our, our, you know, our iron production area kind of in this area. And we'll have the farming. Maybe another farm could be over here. This farm worked great for our first group. But now that we're starting to expand more, we're not making enough food to keep us going. So um, they're definitely growing enough food to keep us going. So that's working. But yeah, we're this was a starter farm and we are we're up against a forest is what we are let me get rid of that <clears throat> i could make these fields a little bigger there isn't room to do that i could double these two into one you know bigger field each one and continue this pathway through and put another bigger one there and bigger one there that might be a way to deal with that four fields twice as big as that would probably work well for this we don't have a lot of labor available to do a lot of farm fields at the moment so as we get more housing in we'll have more people to do the sowing and the harvesting so it's all a balancing game don't try to grow too quick you will outpace part of your economy or part of your city against something else and everything will start to snowball and crash that is a thing anyway the hay barracks popped in let's peek at that real quick and pop that down so i can s take my time and think here storage of capacity of 7000 these guys doesn't tell me what the capacity that it can make each time and june july august somewhere in there they'll come out and mow all the grass and make that work okay so um house 
tree went down, so they're building a house now. Construction in progress. We've got a well out over here. We've got a gazebo. We've got a warehouse. So a bunch of small buildings are going to go pretty quick. And then, well, by then, hopefully, they will have finished hauling all the trees out of the salt works. I'm expecting to see loggers coming in from two different directions. I see they've been working here. So by the time those five trees come down, all these other little buildings should be done and they'll get to work on that one. We still need to buy more stone, so I need another 1,100, I think it is. Now, what is that? Nine from 28, 1,900? 1,900 more stone to finish the foundation on that. Right? I wasn't actually looking down there. I was just doing it from memory from a couple episodes ago. Anyway, let's play with the counselor idea. So, click to open. And do I get to choose? Hire men and women. I don't think I get to differentiate between counselors and builders and mayor with just a single selection. What was that? Builders... Um, enable seasonal hiring in town hall to gain more control. Okay, the, of just the builders. Okay. So anyway, counselor, we have a counselor now. And let's see. Trying to figure out exactly what that means. Make empty. Make empty. <laughs> so why is that clay in here? Okay, counselor, treasury. Let's just play here for a little bit. Nothing in here in regard to counselor. Nothing has changed. You are the kind of charts we're going to see. Resources, population. So that didn't pop a new chart into there. Click on you takes me to who you are. So does that open up a, a something in another building? So um, you. No. Hiring options? No. Supposedly it opens up a way to choose which months of the year we're going to hire for this job or that job or what have you, rather than having to micromanage it all. But I'm honestly not seeing... Manage seasonal hiring. Okay. Now what did that do? That didn't help. Okay. Okay. Um, there we go. Okay, so we've got, we can choose to have just a woman as a counselor. We can turn this on and off. We can, on season three, what months we want to be on season, how many months we want to be off season, and the season months that we're talking about. But how do we specify this means the farm and harvesting versus when we want the charcoal done? I guess I'm I'm still not too sure what we're talking about. Now, can I choose that? No, that's the wrong one. You? Now, I don't get to choose the seasons on and off for each individual building. I do. Just not the one that I just happened to click and try. Ah, uh, okay. So, who I want hired. When I want them hired. I'm not sure on season, off season yet. So, okay, we've seen it. You guys can continue to tutor me through the... Yeah, through the comments on exactly how that works. I mean, Boatyard, I think... It's pretty obvious. We don't want people in here December, January, February. So these are the months we're willing to hire. We want... Now, I don't know what on-season, off-season is. On-season, to me, would be the nine months. No, that doesn't work. That's how many jobs for the on-season. How many jobs for the off-season? Okay. Okay. Boatyard. I got the wrong one anyway. So, I thought I was in the uh, fishing. Okay, so we're just going to ignore this one. And boatyard. Okay, so figuring it out for the boatyard. January, February, December. Three people on the on season, the check marks. And zero people in the off season. Okay, that works. Laborers can be anybody. 
All right, so that works. So how do we deal with that? Okay, I can go ahead and let this run in the background now that I'm starting to make sense of it. Now, farming. All right, let's let's play with this. That would be women, and we would turn off the same ones, and one person, she's right there, is it doesn't have to do with laborers, so it doesn't have to do with planting and harvesting. It has to do with when we want a, a full-time worker here. So, from planting season to the end of harvest season. Though I could say, don't need you in June, July. Could do that and min, you know, min max that a little bit more. She's not going to have as much income, which we need to also be watching our uh, our homes over here and see how their their personal uh, savings are doing. Okay, that's starting to make sense. I don't want to go on camera going through every single building figuring that out, but um, like forestry would be on all the time, so there is no seasonal hiring here. That's just, they're always going to be... No, I take that back. I take that back. So, in on-season, which we will make December, January, February. Let's turn all these off. So, actually, let's pause because it's doing things on me. It won't let me pause. These three months, when they're not working in these other places because of winter, I would want on season to have four people in there. For off season, I would want to have two people. So during the winter, two, another team of two can jump in there and get some more logging done, and then go away and go back to other jobs in this in the, uh, the when it's not winter time. Okay, that's starting to work, and we can apply that setting to all. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's starting to make sense. We won't do anything with this. Well, we will eventually. I can see shutting them down in the winters as well. Okay. Okay. So maybe off camera, I'll go through and kind of fine tune all of those, but it gives you, it gives you an idea. I can have this guy running every, well, once we get it more crops in and, and ensure that every year there will be wheat coming in at least somewhere, then we could have this guy running from, um, September through December every year, kind of a thing. Okay, well, I can see the, definitely see the advantage of that, having a counselor, and which then allows the this option to show up right here. Okay, so with that, you guys are still teams of two and teams of two, and hopefully we're in May. By the end of this episode, we should see that automatic hiring kick on and, and see how that works. So May, we get into June, July... She could go away, right? Yeah, we'll see if that happens. And it'll save the town a little bit of money, but it will harm her household a little bit too. Though she may jump in as a laborer doing temporary work until she until it's time for her to come back on season. Alright, so we've got these guys wanting to sell us salt. Salt, okay. So what do we have? We've got $841 in the, in the treasury. I'm going to call them dollars just for, uh, just for convenience. You know that it's really their, their currency, but that's the currency that automatically pops out of my mouth while I'm not thinking. <laughs> so this, boy, it will not let me highlight that. There we go. How much? <clears throat> We're going to have our own soon. Now, I've heard that horses can be used in the salt works. I don't know if horses must be used in the salt works. That I do not know. So maybe or maybe not we will have a salt works by the end of this episode. So in that case, let's just get a thousand. That's going to cost us a hundred. And we'll either need to buy more later because we ran out because we couldn't run it or we'll start running it and we'll end up selling part of this thousand one or the other so yeah let's get a thousand coming in and turn you on to a slower speed lime leather metal parts iron 
So iron at the moment. Let's go this way. We town storage is nine. That's because it's sitting in. Hmm, is it sitting in both? Even though we're not using one, I did turn iron off, right? I did. But there's still. Okay, so I can make empty. There we go. Make empty, and they won't load this up. All right. So now I don't know what happens once they make it empty. We'll see. I'm kind of mothballing this one. But I, so I don't want to store any of these, these things in here. So in that case, I guess... No, I don't have another space for metal parts. Maybe we'll stick metal parts in this one over here just to give it a place to go. And then just the 25. Though I did say put a bunch more in here. And they already did. Okay. And they're making more. Alrighty. So we may not have anywhere to dump that too. But there's 400 some iron in there. And there's 200 some iron in there. Though it is going to be quite a while but until we're ready to make our own iron. I mean, it, it really is. That's many episodes away. we got two bridges to build, and we haven't even built our first one. Though we could skip that one. Know that we're going to want it there eventually, but get the two little bridges going first ahead of that one, just because they're going to be more functional. This is more for aesthetics, the main road going in. Yeah, there's that. Okay. So, talking myself in and out of, do I want to buy iron? Let's get 500 more iron coming in. So, you at 12. So, you're going to be a little pricey. 500. It'll be very easy to blow through a lot of our treasury just trying to stock things up. Am I still running on one? Yeah. So, we got iron coming in. We've got salt coming in. And that salt may not be enough. I don't know. Well, uh, I can see... What, what does, say, a fishery automatically stock up a fishery will stock let's see resources 400 salt goes into there what else needed salt um, probably the tannery probably the oh the slaughter not slaughterhouse but there wasn't there one that dealt with meats maybe that was it seems like there are a few different buildings that take salt so that thousand may leave soon. Can I put salt in here? I don't know if that's a thing. I think it's more of a warehouse. No, you are here. Okay. So let's put salt in there and we'll we'll get you set up for two thousand. And we'll pull from there. Hopefully these guys can pull directly from here. Don't have to go all the way up there to get it. We'll see how that how that goes. 96 fish sitting here. And it's waiting to get delivered to somewhere. Yeah. Maybe the salt will get here in time before this leaves and I can then trigger it to start salting that fish. Then they'll the 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 bar will either go away or slow way down. I don't remember if salted fish still eventually goes bad. Um <clears throat> that's where I am. What else we got? Metal parts, leather, iron. Iron ore. Don't get those two confused. On my play test, I did. Oh, they got iron. Buy a thousand of it. That's not iron. That's iron ore. What am I going to do with that? Flour, sallow, and dried fish and potatoes. Okay, don't need to buy any of those. Do we have anything to sell? We don't have enough wheat or shoes, buckwheat, charcoal. Charcoal, yes. Town storage is zero because it's... We're not officially storing it that there is a slot for it but for the most part it's sitting yeah it's sitting in charcoal piles let's go ahead and make that the first thing we're going to actually stock um why is there not a charcoal space interesting is it because we don't officially have some sitting in here yet House is done. That could be. Um, Ariana, why are you not filling up the charcoal? What am I not getting here? Let's give you a little bit of help. And let's get the charcoal filled in so that I can get it as an option to be able to start moving it. Interesting. So you are also being helped by laborers, okay. Yeah, I can't tell you to do it because I'm, I'm pretty sure because we don't have any of it in town storage yet. So the town doesn't officially 
have any. It's still sitting in a a building where it's made. It's not sitting in storage. Where is that guy? It was near here. Okay, you are empty. Okay. You are gathering firewood for the next one. And you are cooking. We might officially not have any then. That might be what's going on. There's, yeah. Well, that's just gonna be what it is for now then. <laughs> what else you guys want? Chicken eggs, sunflower oil, clothes, honey, apples, and horlka. I don't know what a horlka is. A hor horlka is. Horl? Yeah. I don't know what that is. It's in a barrel. Feels like some kind of a booze by its picture. Huh. A name I've not come across before. Okay, um, what's our town looking like honey-wise? We've gone through a bit of time since the last uh, sale of honey. Honey, we've got 87, yeah. So honey must not come in until we get a little bit further into the summer before they start to get honey out of these again. Okay, let's just get this running. Not much more we can do as far as um, as far as trading with these guys. They are going to be here in a while, and just out of curiosity, our guy is just going to work. Let's put a second one in, so that odds are, though let's not do it yet, let's let him get through a good part of his day, and then we will bring another one in to offset, so that when one's taking a break, another one's working. Maybe by then, I see they're taking nails out of here, there we go. By then, maybe we'll have somebody here when that arrives. A new family settling into town. So this one just built. All right. So we're building a well, building a gazebo. Um, materials are already there. The well materials are already there. So it's just a matter of these guys getting to work. Um, did this happen? Speaking of getting to work, it did. So with that, let's see if we have anybody else that needs a job. Open up some spaces over there. Okay, we should see them rolling in soon, right? You're coming in from... Oh, interesting. So... But do they all still enter the same place in the map? I don't know. Let's look at that map again. Coming in... Am I running? No. Coming in from... You'd think that it would be coming in from a different place, but I've only ever seen them come from one one place. So... I'm curious. Pause. I just flipped myself around. Where am I? I'm over... Here. Okay. <laughs> I got lost. There. Yeah, they're going to show up in the same place... Every time, no matter what. Okay. You are just about getting here, too. We should see you pop in over here as well. All right, so they must enter from here no matter which direction they're coming from, with the exception of River, which is going to be coming from over here. Right? Yeah, that's the way they, they come into this map. Here's the other one. Okay, so who is available to... Working? Working. Keep working longer, guys. Carts are getting here. Yeah, they didn't offset as much as I'd hoped. Hopefully they'll still be working. They'll only stay so long in there. Okay, so we've seen the counselor. We've kind of got a sense of how that works now. Um... So what I want to do housing-wise is finish off this little block right here. And maybe we'll call this area done. I had thought about, I think it thought it'd be kind of nice to have some roads going out along the curve of the hillside here. With the idea that those houses would then aim in and be able to grab this market still. They'd all come down this road that I'm forming, which will come right down into this market. Uh, gazebo's finished. And did we get the salt? We did. Okay, let's stop right there. Do we now get a new graphic for salt? Only produce dried fish? No. 
Now, when I play test it, maybe I have to get it actually in stock. There was another way to tell how many fish. So let's get you guys working by labor. You are. I need somebody going off to get supplies. You're taking a rest. I need salt sitting in here so that I can do something with that salt. So while we're waiting for that, our gazebo has built. And our flowers are coming back. So I need to spend some time playing with the idea of finishing off the look over here. I had meant to put another tree in there. I guess I didn't. It didn't grow. In fact, it might not look bad. To... Well, that's right. I thought about putting trees across the whole front, but that would hide our gazebo. But I could put the trees along the back. Let's do that. So we're running at one. I can think a little better when they're not. there's not a buzz of activity all around me. So if you went in here and hold the shift. Same tree? Same tree. Yeah. Do I put one right between the windows? I think that might work. You're going to go there. So if we do that, keep the pattern up, it'd be there and there. And then these were the lilacs. Why is that bush so much taller than the rest? Is it random or is it because I piled a couple of them there in the corner? Don't know. Let's grab another lilac right there. And we'll put one... Actually, I had surrounded the base of the tree. That's what I did. Let's put one there, there, and in front. It won't, well, kind of let me. There, there. Don't want to get too many around the, the walkway here. Now we'll call that one done. Now the dog would look kind of interesting. I thought maybe I would kind of mix them to get the white and the pink in there too. Do that. There. Maybe in front. And in front over here. Okay, we'll, we'll do the thickening with... And they have to come and plant all these trees, if you just noticed. You're going to be there. And one more white somewhere in here. Maybe that gap right there. Okay, that gives us a mix of two colors. And a bunch of trees there, which... From our entrance, we're going to see them just this side. If we wanted trees to surround further, I suppose we could just plant them around. They don't have to follow a fence. Although this is our entrance into it, so that's probably a no. <laughs> okay, well that's how the planting works for those that didn't get to see it the first time. And, and I did a lot of it off camera. But it's going to take quite a while for these trees. Oh, protect and remove. I didn't realize you can click on each individual one and do something with it, at least the ones you planted. The wild ones you can't, right? You can! I did not notice that. I guess I've never had a reason to click on a tree. Okay. And these trees that are fruit trees, cherry tree, it tells you what kind they are. I'd be curious to see if they can pick fruit off of those trees when they mature. I've heard that they can... I've not verified that they can, so I don't want to say that that is a thing. Okay, so what's going on? I'm a half hour into this, and I'm actually recording. Cool. <laughs> That's always a good thing to, to notice. It is. I've had, when you've had a few of, what is this? It's the back of a cart. Okay. When you've had a few episodes, you get a half hour in and look over and realize that starting this the recording didn't actually happen well that's that's enough to make your heart stop anyway speed back up we are working on the salt work so we've taken out we've worked on all of these smaller things i wanted to set in uh metal parts and not much maybe 50 just to make that happen um but it's not going to happen unless i have a worker I could put a worker in there just to make that happen, then, then then cancel her. Yeah, I could do that. Let's move all the settings over from this one. Right there, apply to all, and if there's any adjusting, I'll fix that later. And same thing there. Actually, no. Oh, I did that so that I could get charcoal moved. Okay, and it's too late to sell it. Alright, never mind. But I can at least get it brought down here. 
while we have our two workers going on, you are iron, you are nails. Um, charcoal is now a thing because it's now in the global storage. And let's put 5,000 down here. We'll make that our main storage. We've got lots to sell. It'll keep these guys working constantly. That's oh, right. I can't move sideways while I'm still doing this. Yeah. I want to wander around and talk while I'm making these decisions. The game won't let me. These places make firewood so fast that I don't worry about ever running out of firewood. They, you know... We can, be down to 2,000, they'll walk in there and do a shift, and there's 12,000 afterward, it seems like. So, that's a, that is a quick thing. So, this one is really hard to find. There you are. I need to put something over here. Let's put a couple of dogwoods around it, just to make it noticeable. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you, what is, what is with you? You can be anybody, and my laborer, there's not much more to choose. Maybe that will change when we do get the idea of housing down in here. Okay, maybe that's just, just going to be patient with that one. We may not be selling charcoal just yet. Okay, <clears throat> so I want to get these other houses placed while, that's what I was doing, I was walking over here. So you... We are bringing a bunch of resources over. And we still need to buy more stone. Okay, so it's not going to complete until we get another trader pop in and ask if we'd like to buy all their stone. The last time there was only 900 available. We may have to actually go looking for stone. Um, what was I doing? Let's, let's see about getting the last two houses in over here. And how best to do that... If we rode out of here to housing later, I think I'd like to maintain this angle. So this road would just travel like this and around. Which helps me to figure out the layout of my first house. So thinking long term when I do all these things. So you, F1. Um, you're going to be in like so then. Even further in like that. So that means I'm going to make this side a lot longer give a lot of the space to this area and leave that for the other house okay so something more like this oh, right clicked it again yep I wonder if I that's right you I don't know if there's a way to move key bindings in this game yet I um well I have to lose it again in order to find out so you're going to be further up you're going to be over and like this so that we can get this road to scoop in a lot quicker. So you are going to be out over here somewhere. So even if we give you lots of room over here, there's still quite a bit of room left in that area. Okay, so R&T rotates. Put you against the back? I think so. Well... Where does this house go? This house goes like that. No, that won't fit. The corner clips outside. So you're probably going to have to be right in there. So if I do that, I don't think I want a house right up against this one. So in that case, I want you probably up in this area. And that really doesn't leave enough room over there. So let's bring you back and bring you back. But this could be at any angle. This doesn't have to be square. Unless I have to put the house there. Yeah, that would that would need it to be a little bit square. Let's bring you out then just a little bit further. And you can be in. Start that curve. We're going to curve again, and then we're in. Okay. So I think it is right there. <clears throat> and if so, then the next one is F1. So you're... No, you're right there. And you were right there. Yeah, I do I do wish there were five points instead of four. And where you can get a little more creative. R and T spins us around. That's about the only place that you fit. And I would tuck all the way in to give the most land available 
on the side over here. Okay. Though that might, might look awfully funny. If I, may, if I touched you up over here... Gives just a little space back behind, though. Don't like it. Okay. You're going to be there. And... We good? And again, we don't have to make these things line up. In fact, yeah. A well there. We're going to want a well over here. And I do like that well idea that I had, though. I don't think there's enough room. I think that's too long to fit in that space. Hmm. Which means I need this stretched out over here a little bit further to lengthen this. Okay, so you are in fact there. Enter. You are not. Drop another one of you in there. Kick you in like so. You were rotated somewhere back in there. And you are going to go in a lot further. And that... Where's my... Really? It's over there. Delayed. Okay, one more time. <laughs> yeah, those little details. So what happened there? Huh. I rotated the house and that spun it around for the next blueprint. That's what happened there. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. You are in for the well. About that far should be enough. Yeah, I think so. And you are far enough over that I leave a whole run for a well over here. You are in here somewhere. So you can go even further. I think that'll do it. I think we can get a well in there. Want you further? I like him in the middle better, but there's just not enough room behind to do any planting. Yeah. Messenger. And you're the one with the stone, I think. Alright, we'll go with that. <clears throat> there it is. And five and seven. So let's get you guys moved out to the front so we can start taking these particular trees down and get more houses in. All right, so speed one. There's the one. And I want you. All right, stone 477. Well, buy it. Okay, hmm. So iron... I'm going to say we're we're fine. From here on out, we should get a trader in every few months. So I think we're going to be fine there. We don't have anything to sell, unfortunately. We're at, so we're depending on taxes at the moment for our income. Though you will... No, you will not. You will sell this charcoal. Okay. So that is the only option, right? Honey has, has a honey... Supply arrived? No. So we're not quite into honey season, apparently. And I don't see anything else here that I'd want to get rid of. Other than maybe a hundred metal parts. I mean, that's a possibility, though it's mostly sitting... Town storage is 54. That means that... Does that include these? There's none there now. Do these get... Yeah, these got hauled out. So... If I say stop emptying, they're just going to bring everything back, aren't they? They're going to bring back all of this. Oh, there's where it is. Zero and zero. Okay. And then I can say stop emptying. The only problem with that is when I say, boy, we're really hurting on nails. Let's get that going again. I'm going to forget that I said don't bring any parts in anymore. Yeah. But that is a thing. Okay. So we've got... 50 metal parts sitting over there and over here what is your problem you need stone okay over here we've got a hundred I could drop you back down to 50 sell a hundred what does a hundred help us what does it give us what's the point of all this so sell metal parts if I said let's sell 100 of them that brings in 50 it brings in what we just spent on stone that's one way to look at it. 
and we're not really using metal parts very fast anymore. We've already built the four carts below, the four carts above. Let's do that. Now you are a short run. Can we get it there in time? It is July. It is almost August. We're about to lose all of our labor. Let's wait just a moment. Let's move 100 metal parts on a temporary order in and see how quickly those start to move. Let's set you to 50. So here at the beginning of the game when you have so little, you're kind of min-maxing everything, micromanaging to make all this kind of stuff work. Later when we are expanded out all around, we'll be wanting to find ways to not have to deal with all the tiny little details, but frankly we're not that big yet. We're still small potatoes, and there aren't that many details to have to min-max, so... If you get rid of that right now, then it's kind of what's the point of playing the game. Min-maxing is the game right now. Um, they are scything and collecting. Cool. We got to see this. Making bundles. Yeah. <laughs> That's one way to do it. And then hauling that big old green balloon over and putting it up onto the frame so it can start to dry. And eventually we'll get... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It almost looks like nine, ten, eleven. We're gonna load that thing. Is there a quantity? There's four hundred as compared to one fifty. So there's eight on here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Interesting. I'm seeing more than eight little mounds in there but it's obviously 50 a piece so that means eight of them okay don't don't think too hard that's that's sweet yeah <laughs> that just gets you in trouble okay so i did turn you down to to 50 um i don't know how to make that leave turn you two off so laborers are available and we are hauling the 50 out of here you're waiting for more so you're gonna haul it back so it can be hauled one more time out to here yeah it's gonna take a while to actually get all this to happen isn't it I have a feeling okay I don't know how to tell them to take out the 50 without also taking out the 4,000 because they're going to empty from left to right. So we're going to lose the 4,000 before they're going to pull the 50 out of here if I tell them to empty this place. So I probably just don't have the ability to deal with those with 100 of them at this point. Okay. So I've got 50 coming in. Let's sell the 50. Those 50 are guaranteed. So let's make that happen. Sell metal parts. 50 that'll bring in 25 deal so a bunch of tiny little deals to bring in some income in small increments to offset some of our bigger purchases later okay so if we did get four cards you're not really using four cards but they won't wear out very quickly that way and uh, eventually we'll have more going on down here and we'll be using more more cards you are seriously just waiting for stone so we're stuck right there to build a foundation before they can really start building. Okay, so the materials have all been gathered. What do we have left in the way of nails? I'm seeing a, a 1,089. Okay. Plenty of nails. Um, town iron is 654. So we've got plenty of iron to make plenty more nails. Nails are sitting in here now. We've got nails. 1,000 are sitting in here now. Do we still have some down here? Right there, 79. So we've pretty much cleaned out the nails. Good. So in that case, let you guys build. We're taking down trees over here. This is a trading dock and a fishing dock. Don't need to get that one going. I'd like to get the rest of these guys going. So let's push you guys off for now. Let's get the oil workshop going. Where's the second warehouse? 
that's over here for these guys so we can push him off a little bit longer get the oil the weaver the tailor don't need the salary or the shoe that all takes leather we need to think about chickens and we need to think about cows okay and I think the chickens over here would work great now that we're starting to see that the housing is going to be that block there if it does take off it will be out like that so this area is still available let's set a chicken coop let's set two chicken coops and put one on pause I want two of them it works best if they're near each other and can share resources and move things around so let's go with you and need to remove two trees um, I'm going to want to kind of seal this area off with fencing just pathway wise so if I bring you all the way into here the chickens will need water and there's water up in there that probably works good now pathway in let's think about that what do we do with that um, over the top a little bit so if I were to rotate you in I like it that you're let's let's do you something like that now in front of that house I'm, I'm debating whether to use buildings to manipulate pathways or use fences to manipulate pathways fences might be cleaner then I can put the buildings wherever I want which I think would look better right up in here so I can fence that pathway into a, an arch over there somewhere as kind of an entrance from that side yeah so if you sat over here in or out I like the square the straightness of it so let's tighten you up a little bit more and set you there shift we'll set another one somewhere you need to rotate around to finish our circle path or do you pathway actually I don't want to start clipping off the entrance of that building although this is fence right um what do I want to do here I want to do that yeah that's just fencing so we're not actually going to hide the building so we can have the fence out there a little bit and it won't look weird okay so we can route like that though I'm looking at the size of the pathway here compared to there I think I'm back to straight I think it would look better if it was straight like that actually it's a little too far all right now we have the entrance door over there It'd be great if the two entrances touched each other but I think it hmm for that matter if this was here no that doesn't work but that kind of does That's not too weird, right? <laughs> I'll tell you what, let's set that one there and delete this one and move him back a little bit. Uh, there, I like the idea, but it was not aligned properly. It was, it was getting too tight in that, that, that choke point right in between. So if I were to do something more like this, I think that would look that would work chickens would be coming in from both sides but the entrances would be the same which would give us a main pathway that goes up like this out of this pathway instead of a bunch of circles around the buildings so I think aesthetically that would look better in the end um, one of you guys come out toward the front um, about there we need to start getting clothing into the uh, we do pause a second can I buy clothing I can uh, we need to think about bringing in some just some basic supplies of clothes and shoes just so that we've got some available for our residents our, our citizens before we're able to supply our own they will be wearing out soon do we have any sense of that yet we will get messages warning saying we can't find any shoes to wear but I don't get a sense that we've do we on an individual 
Yes, we do. So clothes quality, warm clothes quality, and shoe quality. Okay. So we do need to get those in, and we're not ready to make them. So I need to think about... <clears throat> At least we need to think about bringing in leather. Now there is, you know, there's two, two, two ways to look at that. We could bring in the shoes, or we can bring in the leather and start building, you know, ha have the cobbler ready to go. The shoemaker. You're on the back side of here. Shoemaker. Yeah. Does that highlight? Boy, it should be nice if it did. There you are. Tiny little yellow squares in the corners. Let's bring you forward a little bit, even before the oil workshop. So, shoes and clothes. Tailor. We could bring in cloth and leather and get those going. And for that matter, we could get those going here real soon. They could even be next. Yeah. So, no leather, no cloth. So it's nothing like that here. The next trader, we may have to make some pretty significant purchases and get those basic supplies coming in. That makes sense. <clears throat> and this whole list right here is going to alter over and over again as I start to realize there are better ways to do it. And boy, you parked funny. <laughs> but you are quickly unloading something. Stone. Some more stone is coming in. So, that particular town's stone supply is pretty much gone. So, best I can do. I wish you would maintain the list of the last messenger that came so we can at least see who brings what. We, don't, we won't necessarily know their current supply, but we at least know that they are a supplier of something like that. Now, <clears throat> you're going to make 400. You're drying. You're set for 400. You've got a little ways to go. So that's going to give us 1,200. This guy can hold 1,000. So we're pretty much... In fact, I can shut you down right now. I can't. I was going to say I, no more laborers and they'll stop. But that's not a thing. They won't then take it from here to there, will they? Or will they? Do these laborers... If I turn you off... No more laborers. Then they shouldn't do any more. We'll have four, four, and two, so we'll have a thousand right there. I think it might be you that actually go and pick it up then. Okay. All right. What is that? Still waiting for stone. Can't find stone anywhere. What are you? Ah, that's the, the foundation, the beginning. Ah, we're going to build some more of the foundation. Ah, oh, the piece over here with the chimney. That's right. So, not enough to complete this section so we can move on. Huh? Or maybe... Well, okay. You, you changed your mind. <laughs> Alright, so what else needs to be done this episode? I am in, working on that one hour mark again. Okay, so you guys are here. We're going to start building these two buildings. So we've got water in the area. And we are putting in the shoemaker. We started to bring stuff over, but thankfully we didn't get it all. There's 100 nails over here. Um, you still need a bunch of wood and a bunch of clay. And we're going to get the weaver shop going. The tailor. Tailor. Shoemaker. Tailor. So the weaver. Problem with getting the weaver going, we only have 300 hemp. Though we are into August and we are harvesting something else. What are we harvesting? That looks like potatoes. And apparently we've already hauled everything else in. So we've got 400 hemp. We've got no flax. Right? Wheat, wheat, buckwheat, potatoes. Okay. So wheat we could turn back on again. Hire somebody for here. And apparently we were in the process of loading up the next batch. Did we get this going? We salt. We've got 400 salt in here. Okay, I want to figure this out. There was somewhere. Where are you? No. There was a sense of how many fish, dried fish, that was that bar there the whole time? 
Maybe it was. So stack stock up until you have X number of fish and then start salting them. Now the rate that we're going this year, will we even get back up to there's 19 more coming. So 40 is 60. We'll go with 55. Well, we'll go with the 58. Right there. That's 58, right? Uh, see it again, 19. So 40, 60 minus 2, 58. When he hits 58, or that 19 comes in, they should start salting those. And so I don't think it will allow any more fresh fish to leave until it is satisfied that number and the salting begins. I think that's what I saw the last time I did that. Okay. And why couldn't I find that last time? Maybe that wasn't there. I don't know. <laughs> I sometimes question my own sanity sometimes. All right. So we've got lots of things growing and they're starting to mature. Do we have more honey yet? Um... Honey's there, 242. Though we did use it up pretty quick. We pulled a thousand out. I think that was like two years worth of, of savings at that point to sell it. Um, did I ever put any back in here? I did not. We could. Now, metal parts was going to be a one-time thing. Did I ever sell it? I did. And I said temporary stock. What am I not getting here? There were 50 slated to come. I assume the 50 sold. And yet, it didn't trigger as temporary and, and kick it out so it wouldn't continue to stock more metal parts. Huh. I'll leave that in there. They should draw from it if they need to. They're drawing from the nails, so I think that is a thing. Uh, we're still stocking... Yeah, the, you'll probably go and grab the the 19 that's sitting down there. Okay, you'll bring it out of there. Okay. But, yeah, I said temporary, and that should have booted it out so that it wouldn't bring any more in. Yet it didn't. I wonder what went wrong there. There's still 100 salt. Uh, salt. 900 is sitting over here. 900 out of a thousand this said it had 400 did we buy a thousand or did we buy more there's stock 400 I typed in the 400 is it actually here I think it's not here it would be right there it's not so now there's a laborer spot calling for it hmm okay yeah, we're still, we still have a bit of a shortage of peoples. We no longer have anybody hired here, so we should have more and more laborers available in the, in the coming weeks. You have got what going on? Textiles. What do textiles cost? 20. Ouch. That's a lot. Okay. To buy them all would cost us 200. If I were to buy... 500? That's 100. I'm thinking 500 of these and 500 of leather rather than make the warm clothes. Now what is... What do, I wonder what warm clothes need or require to be made. We don't have a way to find that out yet. Um, hemp, wheat, honey. We had bought wheat before. We did buy wheat before. To turn it into flour to sell it. So you. I'm not seeing flour. There you are. We have nothing in storage. Did we not buy a thousand wheat last time? I know I had that conversation. I just don't know if I had it inside my own head. <laughs> I thought we bought a thousand wheat. We've not had anybody stored in here, or uh, working in here. So, but there's not a thousand sitting anywhere. It's sitting right there. Ah, uh, okay. I should have hired him at that point and didn't. Okay. So we're going to start making a bunch of flour to sell eventually. 
we could go ahead and stock that flower back into here. That was the intent to sell it. So let's put flower. Um, that's right, only available. I forget about that little check mark. I could have got the charcoal that way. It would have given it to me. But yeah, I forgot all about that. So I can go after flower this way, right there. So let's move at least 500 at one time into into here. Hopefully it then, that, that stay? Yeah. Hopefully it then draws out of these guys. Yeah. Although this isn't the rotted stuff. Stuff that's going bad. No flower left over here. Hmm. Okay, so as it's being made, it should all eventually start to stock up in here. Anything else to do here then? There was no leather. Um, let me see something here. Taylor's Workshop. From textile, broadcloth, and sheepskin. So, to make shoes from leather. That's what I needed to verify. And this is from leather and metal parts. Okay, so it's the lead that I'm looking for next. You need to get some leather. Okay, what are you still lacking? You're lacking 1,423 stone, and stone was not an option here. It was not. Okay, so it may be a while before we get the salt works going. That's just, that's just a thing. Am I done for this episode then? Have I tied up all the loose ends that I've jabbered on about? I think I have. I'll go through and play with the uh, the counselor's duties, the uh, on on season and off season. Um, we did not get this guy loaded up. I'm gonna guess this or next month that will happen. We've got nobody working in these, so that's all taken care of. And next episode we should see these hire all, another two people each all by themselves if that. If that function, that, that process works. Okay, I think I'm going to call her here. Thanks for watching, folks, and catch you next time. Bye-bye.